Number 24. A 0.5 centimeter diameter plastic sphere used in a static electricity demonstration has a uniformly distributed 40 picocoulomb charge on its surface. What is the potential near its surface? Okay, so this question is uh, a, a little, a, it's worded a little strange. We're going to have to manipulate something here. All right, so pretend you have a sphere. You know that the diameter is going to be uh, 0.5 centimeters. And then if you know that the diameter is 0.5 centimeters, what is the radius? So the radius then is half of that, right? So essentially the radius here will be 0 0.25, all right, centimeters. Now it says that there's a uniformly distributed charge. So boom, boom, boom. So I'll put a little, you know, a couple stars here. We can figure out how many electrons or protons that is. But note that uh, the total charge there is going to be 40 picocoulombs. So in other words, it's 40 times 10 to the minus 12 coulombs. Okay? Now the question is asking then, what is the potential near the surface? So what does that mean? Near near the surface? Near the surface? Like here? 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 You know, does it mean from perspective of the inside? Like here? Here or here? Right? I, I don't know. So... I know how to calculate what they want, but the wording is a little odd. So first, bear with me here. Pretend that I have a point charge, an exact point charge. And right here, this point charge will have a uh, charge value of 40 times 10 to the minus 12 coulombs. And now I'm going to tell you that about 0.25 centimeters away, so this is 0 0.25 centimeters, I want you to calculate now the voltage right here, okay? The voltage is going to equal some some value. Uh, I think that might be coming through my house. No, okay, good. All right. I thought he was going to come through my house. Anyway, mm, where was I? Right. So let's say I want to calculate the voltage at this particular point, okay? Now, we know the charge, the point charge value. We know the distance, okay, between this point and uh, that a particular point of interest, and we want to calculate the voltage here. So we need a formula, right? And the formula says that the voltage at a particular point due to a point charge is going to be equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the charge that is producing the voltage at that point divided then by the radius, a.k.a. the distance between the charge and the point of interest, or where the voltage is being measured. Why is it called the radius? Well, because if I were to look out in the other direction, 0.25 centimeters, let me make that a little neater. If I were to look out the other direction, 0.25 centimeters, I would have gotten the same value. Or if I would have went up, 0.25 centimeters, same value. If I would have went down, 0.25 centimeters, I would have got the same value. And what do you notice this creates kind of? It kind of creates like a circle, right? Even though that's an oval, you can pretend. So, that being the case, this R is basically the distance, okay, in other words. So if I had to now calculate the voltage, it's the electrostatic constant K, which is about 9 times 10 to the 9th. I'm approximating. There's a more exact value, but it's very close to this. So I don't know if you need to use, you know, more exact numbers, but uh, I, this is just easier. <laughs> so now we're going to multiply by Q, which is 40 times 10 to the minus 12th, and then divide that all by that radius, a.k.a. the distance, which is... Be careful, 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus 12th. Oh, what am I doing? Careful again. I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. Did you pay attention? It's to the minus 2, okay? So let's calculate. 9 times 10 to the 9th. Multiply by 40 times 10 to the minus 12th. We'll divide by 0.25 times 10 to the minus 2. And it's 144, right? So 144 volts. Okay, now, what happens if... What happens if I move this point now closer and closer and closer and closer and closer, and I'm almost on top of the charge itself? What's the voltage produced by that point charge? Well, what happens to this? What happens to the math? What I'm saying is the distance gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. What then happens? And the charge is constant. Electrostatic constant is constant. What happens to the voltage? It gets larger and larger and larger and larger, 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 all the way up to like an infinite voltage, right? So, in this, back to the problem. 
if this problem is asking us if it says there's a uniformly distributed charge um, on its on its surface, and then they want to know the potential near the surface, I got to know the distance relative to the surface. If I calculate it at the surface, it's infinite. Okay. Um, if I calculate it, then you know this distance away, I got to know what the distance is. So the assumption here in this problem is that you want to now assume, and it's strange, but because the wording's a little off, but you have to assume that all of this charge is located at a central point, okay? And then you are going to be measuring the voltage at 0.25 centimeters away from that point of charge. If that still doesn't make sense, I agree. Guys, have a great day. Take care.